Need motivation to hit the gym? Look no further than these fitness fanatics. I am addicted to bodybuilding. I can't lie about it. I'm just trying to get huge. Pushing their bodies to eye-popping extremes. The body isn't really meant to be 350 pounds of muscle. No maximalny my размер рук это 40 сантиметров и грудь 128. And these physiques draw a lot of attention. You guys probably saw that the bus picture that went kind of viral for a while. Both good. All right, lovely ladies, can I get a pick jack? Yeah, head up, pick jack, yeah. And bad. Some people find my body unproportioned. But nothing will stop these gym rats smashing their goals. All I can do is just better myself. I don't want to be just a fitness model. I want something bigger than that. What do you recommend, bro? I'm trying to get huge. <laughs>5 to 6 days a week about one and a half to 2 hours a day depending on how much I'm yapping. This is Biggie Big. He drives the ladies wild just like his daddy. My name is Craig Goliath. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am a bodybuilder online coach. I'm just trying to get huge. What do you have that's going to get me huge? That's going to get you like big? Yeah, massive. Try to get huge. I just woke up and decided I want you know, some muscles and, you know, once I saw the progress, I just wanted more and more and more, you know, the tension I was getting and you guys probably saw that, the bus picture, that went kind of viral for a while. Girls were starting to be with set and I was like, hey, what's up, dude? All right, lovely ladies, can I get a pick jack? Yeah! Head out, pick jack, yeah! Before I knew it, I just kind of got obsessed. I was a toothpick in high school. I don't remember those days, to be honest with you. I didn't start working out till I was 20. We're going from 150 pounds to 350 pounds. That is quite a change. I mean, it's dramatic. Such a crazy comparison. I even like my own pick. Well, it's just kind of like a pyramid. You know, you keep on going and going and going and you just tell yourself when is enough and you never want to stop because you are never satisfied. So you just keep on going. Negatives about being, you know, 350 pounds of muscle, I would definitely say it's like tying your shoes, taking a shower, um, you know, going upstairs, you know, just like the little things, but they add up. Your heart can only take so much weight on it, but I don't plan on being like this big forever, you know what I mean? Like, I know there's gonna be a certain time where I'm gonna relax, you know? Bodybuilding to me is one of the hardest things a human being can do. And it's 24 hours a day. So if you're not eating, you're sleeping. If you're not sleeping, you're training. If you're not training, you're eating more. If you're not doing cardio, it's just like there's always something. You know, like you blink and you gotta do something differently. I don't know what you're worried about. You look huge, man. All right, let's go. I am at Stacks and Yolks. I am here for breakfast. Um, it's meal one for me today. What do you recommend, bro? I'm trying to get huge. So what are we contemplating right now? Extra cheese. And a little more jalapenos too. Sure. I'm really trying to get huge today, as you yeah. can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Honey burrito? French toast. How many did you want to get? Three. Yeah. Wow. I eat about four to five meals a day and a shake or two here. Burrito with some side bake. Pretty much it just consists of, you know, red meat, chicken, um, complex carbs or more rice, pasta, potatoes. I'm pushing 340 to 350 pounds, so I gotta keep it lean, keep it tight. Keeping the sugar low, because I want to keep it lean, I want to keep it shredded. Now, f that, you know I want to get hit. Once you get to a weight of 340 to 350 pounds, your body does not want to be that big. Um, your body fights you every minute it can to get smaller. Oh, there's more? Yeah, our true French toast. Yeah. That's not a bad situation. Okay, these are so good. If my portions got smaller, I would just drop a lot of weight. You know, probably look a lot sexier.
Here's me in front of the club, relaxing at the hot tub, taking a leak. Another one of me in the club, looking like a scrub. You gotta zoom in on that. I do online coaching. Um, I love it, it's an amazing job. Um, I better people's lives for a living. All right guys, so I'm gonna take you through an arm workout today and I'm gonna show you normally what I have for biceps and triceps. To get those arms super massive, as you can see. I love helping people you know, achieve their goals and their dreams with their body. I feel there's nothing wrong with steroids considering on how old you are and if you're not abusing it, you know, and you're using it for the right reasons. It's very common for bodybuilding, but um, I was always a huge believer in building your foundation first. Like, I have so many clients, they're like 18, 19, 20, Craig, I wanna jump on, I wanna jump on, what do you recommend? Uh, bro, you still got a lot more growing to do. Um, you know, get that natural muscle first, you know what I mean, and then take it to the next level. You know, that's what I've always been big on. I do a lot of stupid stuff too, as you can see on my Instagram. Gotta get that mass to get that. Here we up. Wah, wah, wah. Sometimes people will come up to me and you know they'll want some pictures. I love when they come up and say hi. I see them as my people, you know. I'm very proud of the journey. Um, my business has grown. Um, my name has grown. A lot of people, are, you know, are working hard doing stuff they don't love. So I get to wake up and do what I love. So I find it a blessing. What does the future hold for Craig Goliath? Um, I'm very content right now with how things are going. You know what I mean? All I can do is just keep on going up from where I'm at right now. Just better myself, you know, better everything. Keep on climbing. What do you got that's gonna get me absolutely massive? I'm trying to gauge. What? Trying to gauge. I'm sorry? I am addicted to bodybuilding. Like, for sure, I can't lie about it. I'm, I'm there every day, non-stop. If I get like three days rest, it feels weird. I ask you if you take steroids. My name is Bahar Nabila. I'm 25 years old. I live in Ukraine. I was bullied in school because of my legs. I was really skinny kid. I thought that I want to I want to change the situation. I want to look different. And I thought to go uh, to the gym. I started and I really loved it. Since that day, I still train. <laughs> I love Brazilian type of body and those girls have like, small upper body but big thighs and big glutes. So I was like, I want to be like that. I think some people find my body unproportioned and I mean, I understand why. I have no reasons to build up my upper body. So I like the way I look, even though like there is disproportion. I'm gonna do quads today and I will definitely need this one. So let's go. Workouts like one week, me and my coach doing like heavyweight, and another week is like static dynamics. You don't have to create new exercises for building your body, you have to use like basic movements as squats, deadlifts, walking lunges, uh, leg press, leg curls, leg extensions like, same exercises as most of the people do actually, nothing special. There is no day for me without squats, you know? So I work with the weight I feel comfortable with. So like 100 kg is enough for me, like for 15 reps it's, it's fine. Bahar is a person with a strong character. She is very determined. If she thinks she wants to do something, she will achieve it. 
Она очень быстро прогрессирует. В месяц она может набрать там 3-4 килограмма сухой мышечной массы. Ну, ну это все результат ее работы. People constantly asking me about steroids, and I'm not afraid to say that one of the few athletes in like bodybuilding industry, fitness industry, who actually admits taking steroids because lying about it is like is ridiculous. I don't recommend it to people; it's their choice. But personally, I do take it. I think most of the women scared because like it's stereotype thinking that if you're gonna start lifting weights you're gonna look like a man i do take steroids my voice is deep so some people think that i look like a man plus my voice but if you're a natural athlete there is no chance for you to look like a man if you're natural like no way people will always find the reason to you know, to negatively react on her. Oh, she, she's a very dedicated and humble person. I learned a lot from her. Like she motivates me to go to the gym every single day and I'm trying to lose weight. I gain like 20 more kilograms, extra, extra kilograms, so she helps me a lot with that. When people come up to me in the street, they don't talk about my glutes, they don't talk about the pose I do, they talk about how I, like motivate them. I remember I posted one picture and it went really viral. Like it was all over the feed, on every sport page, sport account, and they always commenting like she looks like a man. Um, I'm not mad at them. I don't feel upset or, you know, I don't have depression or stressed out about it because I understand that not everybody gonna like me and it's fine. And I know that like tomorrow there's gonna be another girl who's gonna be popular and everyone gonna forget about me. So I don't wanna be just a fitness model. I wanna, I want something bigger than that. So now I'm just working, uh, I don't know, to motivate people, you know, to, to make them feel better about themselves. Some people go to theater, some people listen to music, to music. When I feel too stressed out or like no mood, I'm always in the gym kind of stress relief for me. It feels good, I love it. Like, it's, it's the part of my life right now. Ну, начало занятия весил примерно 40 килограмм. Я была очень худенькой девочкой. Я Наталья Кузнецова, я сегодня покажу вам, как стала самой сильной женщиной в культуристском мире. Сейчас мы у меня дома. Вот одна, одна из моих наград за профессиональный турнир по бодибилдингу. На самом деле, мне было всего 14 лет, когда я в первый раз участвовала в чемпионате по бодибилдингу. Была призеркой. Тогда была еще ребенком. И уже после того, как я заняла там призовое место, я решила, что у меня это правда очень хорошо получается. И что надо, наверное, ну, продолжать. Я Наталья Кузнецова, самая известная женщина в культуристском мире. 29-year-old professional bodybuilder Natalia holds more competition titles than any other female bodybuilder in the world. И, наверное, одна из самых главных наград это вот этот меч. Я победила свои первые профессиональные соревнования по бодибилдингу. Получила профессиональную карту. На данный момент у меня 6 мировых рекордов, 12 европейских рекордов. Но на самом деле для меня это уже достаточно. Нет, ну понятно, что рекорды, они для этого рекорды, чтобы их побивать, конечно, может быть. Когда не будет, я снова тут побьет. Но на данный момент, собственно, рекордсменка я. Но believe it or not, just 12 years ago, she was a skinny teenager who loved sports. На начало занятия весил примерно. 40 килограмм. Я была очень худенькая девочка. Буквально через полгода занятия я реально очень сильно преобразилась. Я не помню уже, сколько я нарастила и насколько увеличил само вес на тот момент. На начало занятия весил примерно 40 килограмм. Сейчас на максимум было 100 килограмм. А люди сейчас спрашивают, как я описываю свой образ. Но я описываю как образ сильной женщины, амазонки. 
но максимальные мои размеры рук это 49 сантиметров, 0,276 с половиной сантиметров и грудь 128. Ну, когда я только начинал заниматься, вообще, наверное, ни о чем не думал, о каких-то целях, просто хотел добиться каких-то максимальных результатов. Но ну, а потом уже со временем, да, я стал думать больше над своим стилем, над внешностью, потому что именно резон, то, что я начал заниматься именно бодибилдингом, именно тот, что я хотела сделать свое тело более привлекательным и более симпатичным, на мой взгляд. With such huge muscles, shopping for clothes that fit and flatter her is a huge challenge. А если вещи не тянутся, ну, понятное дело, что я не могу их, конечно, надеть. То есть они по мне не, не сядет просто. А если сядет, то будет э, огромная талия, так скажем, все будет это будет висеть как мешок. То есть, конечно, вещи нужно подбирать и решить их на заказ. So now, uh, Влад? В зал? Да. Куда Теперь... еще сходить вечером поздним? Тренировка, да. С мужем многие думают, что мы познакомились в спортзале. Но это не так, мы познакомились с ним в интернете. Когда первый раз я с ней познакомился, она, безусловно, уже была очень спортивной девушкой, но надо понимать, что таких форм, как сейчас, у нее, конечно, не было. Это было много лет назад. Вот. И, конечно, с тех пор она очень сильно спрогрессировала. Сейчас мы находимся в спортзале, где, собственно, я и тренируюсь. Ну а так обычно у меня на обычной тренировке примерно одна-две группы мышц прорабатывается. Ну, допустим, когда был большой перерыв, там, допустим, пару недель, там болел или отдых был какой-то, то можно сделать круговую тренировку. Сейчас мы будем делать массив гантели в стороны, и это упражнение будет на дельтоиды, на плече. То есть, как, когда я начинала в зал ходить, там, первый лет пять, я вообще ничего, вообще ничего. То есть, никакое спортивное питание, никаких добавок, абсолютно то, только рис, грудки, сосиски, там, и все, и тренировки. И эффект тоже был. То есть для обычного человека может это будет достаточно. Но в то же время, когда человек не спает, там, допустим, покушать, то почему бы не сделать ему протеиновый шейк? Это просто удобно. То есть в машине в пробке, допустим. While Natalia has spent years sculpting her physique by any means possible, not everyone has been complimentary about her body. But that's never held her back from her bodybuilding dreams. Кто-то считает, что не женственно просто иметь накачанную фигуру, да, иметь развитые мышцы, там, и даже мышцы пресса. Вы знаете, в интернете очень много всего говорят. Кто-то говорит, что им не нравится внешне, кто-то очень, наоборот, хочет, чтобы я еще больше накачалась. То есть, ну, да, тут нужно смотреть э, то, что ты хочешь сам, твоя цель. Я не смотрел никак то, что пишет в интернете, да, то есть я ориентируюсь да, на то, что хочу, собственно, сама я, моя цель, и то, что, ну, наверное, нравится моим близким людям. 